WSBT Suzanne Spencer was at Bethel College today. She joins us from the live desk now. Suzanne. The show of support was just incredible. Hundreds of people lined up outside Bethel College to support Middlebrook's family and fellow firefighters, many of whom waited in line to pay their respects, didn't even know the man who died, but still felt that they should be there. Hundreds upon hundreds of people stood in line to show support. Many came for different reasons. There were many from the community of New Carlisle, like the woman who had just received CPR training from Jamie six days before he died. It's very heartbreaking. Even knowing him a short time, it's very heartbreaking. Yeah. Going past the fire truck. Today was emotional for so many at the visitation. Many had a personal connection to the Middlebrook family. It's more than a tragedy, it's to society a volunteer that gave his life. This couple had known Middlebrook's parents for years, and they said they know what it's like to lose a son. And it, it doesn't ever leave you, um, lose a, um, a son, a daughter, it sticks with you. Gary Webb of Indianapolis knew Jamie because both of them were cancer survivors and had raised money for cancer research. Everybody has good qualities, um, but by the number of people and how long uh, people are waiting, uh, and the fact that people are driving up from Indianapolis and all over the state probably. Um, he's a special guy and we're really gonna miss him. He was an inspiration to a lot of people. There were hundreds of firefighters and police officers. He was one of our on calls at Notre Dame. Many of him lost a brother. It truly is a brotherhood. Others lost a friend. We have a uh, first in line uh, as part of the public uh, coming through. Come out to support the family, especially Jamie's wife, Julie. We know her personally through uh, family. Friends grieved and said new Carlisle won't be the same. You know, in whole new Carlisle, there's just like a black cloud over the town, and it just feels sad. My wife and I are both from live in new Carlisle, and something of this magnitude uh, affects the whole community. Many said the hundreds of people who walk through the doors will give strength to a community that's hurting. The emotion in there is we stayed for two hours, but really it was not two hours of waiting. It was two hours of reflecting and having love and sharing it together as a community where everybody was pulling in the same direction. It was just truly amazing to see how many people came out today, especially firefighters from departments across the state of Indiana. And tomorrow, another huge crowd is expected for Middlebrook's funeral service. Reporting from the live desk, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT, Channel 22 News.